Hello and welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by Scribby.com. In this video we will be talking about the integrated editor that has recently been launched by Scribby. This is a very advanced tool which can be used to transcribe your own files and the best part is it's completely free. The first thing you need to do is type in this link in the address bar. It's www.scribby.com forward slash tools forward slash transcription dash editor. Now, once we're on the main Scribby page, it will show you three simple steps that you need to get started. The first is to upload the files, the second is to type or dictate, and the third is to download the completed files. In this video, I will show you the various features Scribby has to offer and how to use them. First of all, I will show you how to open the editor. First, we have to go to the main Scribby homepage and click on the orange Upload Files button that's in the upper right. This will bring us to a page that allows us to choose our file that we want to transcribe and upload it to the site. As you can see, there are a couple different options for uploading. There's a folder button, which allows us to upload a file from our local computer. This YouTube button allows us to paste in a YouTube link. The third one allows us to upload a direct web link that ends in one of these file extensions here on the right. And the fourth allows us to upload from Dropbox. Now, don't worry, these are all very secure methods of uploading as we don't take any of your credentials on this site. All logins are processed through a third-party site such as Dropbox itself. In this case, I'll be using YouTube, the YouTube link method. So you can just paste or type the URL in this box and press upload and the file will start uploading. Now upload times are going to vary depending on the file size, but once you're done, it will take you to this page where you can order a transcript. Just click on the green drop down button and then on transcript and you will be redirected to the editor. You will see this illustrated guide that explains how to use the editor. When you're done reading, you can just close the window. So as you can see, the audio is being analyzed, and this is the text box where you can type the content while listening to the audio. Now that it is all loaded, we can click on the timestamp tool to create a new timestamp. Now press the play button to start the audio, press the pause button, and simply type the words that you hear. To type the next sentence, just repeat the process by inserting a new timestamp and typing the audio that you hear. Now obviously you're going to want to do this with the entire file, but I'll just be doing a little bit just for example purposes. Also, you will be able to go to different points in the audio clip by simply selecting a timestamp. So this is the basic functionality of the editor, but Scribby provides much more functionality that we can play with, so I'll go ahead and show you that now. If we take a look at the first two options here, as we saw before, they're both in the integrated into one cohesive interface, so there's no need to switch back and forth between the audio editor and the text editor, which in the long run will save us a lot of time. This unified editor allows us to do this. Take this editor for example. If I click on the timeline somewhere around, I don't know, 20, you will see that the text editor will take us to the exact place in the file that the audio takes place because we put a timestamp there. The reverse is also true though. If we select a line of text and then press Control alt n on our keyboard, the audio will begin to play from that point specified in the text editor. Alright, let's go back to the main page that we were on before and go over a couple more features. The audio and video formats that are acceptable are listed under the audio and video titles here, and they are pretty typical formats. The keyboard shortcuts option lists some keyboard shortcuts that will help us out with the speed and functionality of the editor. It lists some of the default shortcuts below, but we can also configure our own shortcuts. If we go to the editor, click on the drop down on the right, and hit shortcut preferences. You'll be able to change these settings as well and see all of the default shortcuts from this window. The next features that are also meant to help save time when transcribing. The auto capitalization feature will capitalize the first letter of every sentence so that, just to show you, if I type in a lowercase there with a lowercase t and press space, the word will automatically be capitalized. The next feature is autocorrect, which will automatically correct common misspellings like this. Both of these options are included to make the editor as user-friendly as possible. The next option is autosave. This basically saves your document after every keystroke so you will never lose any work. For example, say your computer crashes and you lose all of these windows. When you go back to reopen the editor, all of your text will be preserved just how it was when you left it. Let's go back and look over some more features. Live spell check is a useful feature when you type a lot of words and you know don't necessarily pay attention to spelling all the time but the editor can't autocorrect it. In this case, the editor will put a red line underneath the word, which means it is not a recognized word. If we right click on the word, we can see options to either change the word to this word, or to add the word to the dictionary, ignore the underline, Google search it, analyze it, etc. 
Another important feature is the multi-cursor feature. This feature allows us to select a word and change every instance of that word to something else. For example, if I select the word the and wanted to change all the occurrences to there, I can select the word and press Control alt g on my keyboard, which will highlight every instance of the word the. Now we can just edit the word by typing in something new and it will change every instance of it. Now let's move on to the text analysis feature. If we click on the analysis button on the top of the editor, it will under underline the least common phrases and words throughout the document, or words that the editor does not recognize. So basically you just go through the document and check to make sure that everything makes sense. If you need to further analyze, you can simply right click on the word and you will get the following options to help the analysis process. Another very cool feature is the variable speed playback. This allows us to slow down or speed up the audio to make it easier for us to follow along while typing. You can adjust the speed by clicking on the box and entering the desired speed. A higher number will make the audio faster while a lower number will make it slower. The next very handy feature is the dictation. Now Google Chrome already supports dictation but we can also enable it by clicking this button. Dictation will allow us to finish the transcription much faster as it is quicker to speak what you hear than to type what you hear. In this window you can select your accent and speaking style and then once you close you'll be ready to start dictating. Amplify audio is used to enhance your audio to make it easier to hear. You can adjust the settings by clicking on the drop down button on the right and clicking amplify audio. A window will appear where you can adjust the levels for best results. You can also use the dynamic range compression for greater control over your audio levels. So these are the basic features of the editor that you can use while creating your transcript. But once you're done, you can download the completed transcript by clicking on the download button below. You can download any format by simply clicking on its name. And once it's done downloading, it'll look something like this. So these are the features that I think will help everyone who would like to do their own transcribing. If you do not want to do it yourself, however, of course we would be happy to do it for you. You can order our services from our website and select how fast you would like it to be done, and we will be sure to get it to you within those time constraints. So this concludes our little tutorial, but I would like to add that this editor has been very useful and actually is still being used by our in-house editors and proofreaders for about a year and a half now. It is a very effective tool and now we are allowing transcribers like you who want to transcribe themselves to have access to the software so they can get the same type of results that our professionals have been getting with this great software. Well, that's all for me today. Have a great day.